Where right. did I start? I don't mean to tune out. Oh yeah. It just start out of nowhere then? Just yeah. let me tell you something. Alright. Year was I was twelve years old. I was I was a pretty scrawny kid. Mm -hmm. I had let me tell you my legs though. And when I was I was twelve years old, first entering middle school. Now you know you need to have good legs to enter middle school. Yeah, yeah. I could jump. I could touch a regulation basketball hoop when I was twelve years old. Four feet eleven inches tall. You need to know you know you need to have good legs for middle school. That's how you need to start middle school. And man, the things I could do with these. I remember back in my childhood having a big wheel. You know they call it a big wheel because it's got the biggest wheel in front. And my feet would fit perfectly around these pedals. I'm telling you, I the way my feet developed throughout my childhood, absolutely no pigeon toe. Now coming from a family, all of my siblings had pigeon toe. They they were all pigeon toe. Oh yeah. Yeah, they had they had back problems throughout high school. All until you know to this day, some one of my my oldest brother still has to wear a back brace, right? And I had no pigeon toe. That got me these beautiful, the balls of my feet, I mean, if I could dip my feet in, you know, that stuff that they use to get your fingerprints, and I would put it on like a white sheet of paper, it would be the most pristine footprint you could ever see in your life. I worked hard at these, okay. My legs, that's where all this board comes from. That's how I, I'm able to run a 50, 50 yards in four and a half seconds, okay. That's pretty damn good. Now, these legs, let me tell you one thing about these legs. The calves, not, all, not as strong as you might. I don't skateboard. Now, skateboards get really strong calves. they got to do their ollies and stuff. Mm -hmm. My strength comes from my ankles and my thighs. That's how you get the high vertical leap. Now, one thing that I do, I love about these legs, and I'll tell you one thing. A lot of football players and basketball players, they have that, that weird, like, flamingo-itis where their leg can kind of bend this, like, backwards or whatever that is. Now, I know absolutely no, no matter how hard you go ahead, try and push that up. You cannot flamingo that leg. I cannot. Any flamingo. That. That's, that's full range, of, full range of natural motion. Perfect specimen. You know, that rolling ankle there. It can, I mean, when you're swimming even, I mean, you can use it as a propeller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.